All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, always helping you win in your real estate deals as well. If you're buying, selling, or investing, we would love to talk to you. And we have a couple of hot listings here uh, that we'd like to talk about. 907 Crenshaw Lake Road. This is one of our hot listings from Roxanne on our team at the Platinum MVP team. Uh, this Crenshaw Lake property is one of my favorites right now. It's twenty, almost 24, 24, 25 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. You got a ranch style farmhouse on over three acres. It's 3.16 acres of land. Uh, you got open floor plan, natural lighting, and a large newly remodeled kitchen with stainless steel appliances. You got a huge backyard here and just a beautiful color scheme uh, right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. This is Hillsborough County. County, Crenshaw Lake Road in Lutes, Florida, one of our hot real estate listings from the Platinum MVP team. And we also have a property at 4501 Garnett Drive. This one is another waterfront beauty that we've got listed in Newport Ritchie, Pasco County. Uh, Gulf Harbors is the community, very popular uh, neighborhood. 2215 square feet, two bedrooms, two and a half bath. You've got a open floor plan, cathedral ceiling, fireplace in the great room, upstairs loft, and it's a golf cart friendly community. 4501 Garnett Drive, Port Ritchie, Newport Ritchie, Florida. One of our hot real estate listings. There is room on the waterway back in the backyard for a boat dock. You got bay access there uh, on the back of that beautiful property, waterfront property. You can see all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. All right, let's welcome in Debbie Lane Wisdom Hypnosis. Welcome in, Debbie. Thank you. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Great to have you and, and uh, looking forward to our conversation. Lots of cool areas we could take this and you're helping people in a lot of ways uh, quit smoking or weight loss or even get rid of a case of the hiccups. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm best known for my hiccups because I once helped a girl who had chronic hiccups and uh, it made the airwaves when she stopped. Um, after that, I had someone who burped 28 burps every 15 minutes for two years solid. Holy cow. Yes. She stopped. Told my husband I've had uh, burping and chirping. If I get the other end, I quit. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Honest to goodness. Uh-oh. Yeah. that's yeah. A... I had someone come in with flatulence. No way. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So it's like a, a just a, a, a radical case. I mean, just, an, a, just an, a crazy case of... Well, he was extremely anal retentive, and I know that sounds <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was All applicable. Right. Oh my goodness! Okay, wow, that's interesting. So, t talk to us about you know for for the layperson that may not even really know what what is the idea of hypnosis. Hypnosis is accessing the subconscious mind. Your mm -hmm. subconscious mind has one job: that's to keep you safe. Yeah. And so, everything we do benefits us, even if it's a negative thing. The subconscious mind believes that it's protecting us somehow. So what I, my job is, is to assist you in accessing that subconscious and letting it understand that you would be safer without cigarettes, with less weight on your body, mm. without some of the pain, because pain is a symptom. It's not an illness. Mm. I get a lot of doc referrals for pain. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. You know, when you, when you said that, it reminded me of a lot of my, as we talked about a little bit before the show is the, the training, uh, with, uh, Tony Robbins and other, you know, folks like that. I listened to, you know, a lot of different growing up. I've always been, that's one of my, I think, you know, one of my strong suits growing up and going through life and even in sports is that I've always been the type to invest, invest in myself, you know, whether it's personal development. And I tell you when audio books and all these videos came out, Man, that was perfect for me because I'm just the type of person when I sit down and read an actual physical book, my mind just wanders. I'm not that into it. But when I throw on a headset and I'm able to walk around and do things and, you know, whatever it might be around the house, um, I, I love it. But you, you, it reminded me of, of the RAS, the reticular activation system in the brain, right? And that's what you were alluding to, right? That's That RAS is that part of the brain uh, after you buy that new car and then all of a sudden you're driving around. You see that same new car out there with different colors, black, red, and gray. That car has always been there, but you just notice it more. Exactly. In fact, it's kind of the law of attraction. The more you focus on something, and I've encouraged people when, for instance, looking for a life partner, to make a list of 180 items that they want in that partner. Wow. Putting them down all in a positive format. Yeah. But what happens is now your mindset is based on, okay, this is really what I want, and oh, that person seems to fit more with it, or that one doesn't have any of those qualities. Yes. And you find that... Therefore, you, you begin to be more aware of it. And that's true in sales. Right. I'm sure you're aware of that. And just anywhere that you put your focus is what you're going to draw in. Yeah. 
where your mind flows, your energy flows, your focus goes. Uh, there's there's a thousand sayings like that, and it really is true. The power of focus, right? And and in any day, in any moment, we can really choose to focus on something negative that happened, or uh, look what he said to me, or she did this. Can you believe that? Or we can focus on the positives. You know, hey man, I'm alive and breathing here. I'm sitting in an air conditioning room, uh, talking on the microphone to broadcasting to thousands of people. Uh, you know, I'm I'm grateful for that, right? And, and there's really something to uh, just the, the fact that how grateful you are, right? Oh, tremendous. And appreciation. So. Um, and we kind of discussed earlier the power of questions. Yeah. And all too often, people will ask questions like, why me? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I can do that. What if it goes wrong? Right. Instead, what you want to do is ask, what if things go right? Yeah. And instead of why me, why not? Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. And especially if you, it, you know, when you have, what's that saying about preparation, you know, success when preparation meets hard work and, you know, those types of things. But yeah, when, when you're in that position, it is, it's, yeah, it's, it's modeling too. I think a lot of uh, our life and business, especially in our real estate business in Keller Williams is, you know, Hey, look, somebody else has done it already. Let's, let's, let's uh, do some R and D, right. Instead of research and development, let's rip off and duplicate. Right. <laughs> so they've already done it in California or whatever state, right. These, these real estate agents, have figured out the way to get listings, grow a business, make over, uh, you know, hundred million dollars in sales in one given year. So it's all about modeling in a sense and that you can relate modeling to any part of your life. Very much so. Um, part of what I do with the smoke cessation client is while they're under inform them that children learn more from our behavior yeah. than they do from our words. Right. And so if they are a parent and often I am dealing with someone who's a parent. Yeah. It's really important that you focus on how you behave so that that child will learn to be live a healthy life, a smoke-free life. Right, yeah. No, that's a big that's a big one. My parents smoked when I was younger and you know having that smell on me and just seeing the cigarettes and I didn't like it as a kid. I think that's why I'm like definitely no. I don't want to be around a smoker. I don't want to be involved with it, you know. Um, if you just joined us, by the way, we're talking with Debbie Lane, uh, wisdomhypnosis.com, and you can reach out to our hotline at 727-263-3707. Uh, we got a new hotline here at 727-263-3707. You can reach out to the hotline. We'll put you in touch, of course, uh, with Debbie Lane, wisdomhypnosis.com. Uh, learn how to quit smoking, weight loss, hiccups, uh, remedies for hiccups. Uh, and NLP, you were mentioning earlier, so it's a lot like uh, NLP, that's Neuro Linguistic programming correct and what is NLP NLP is how you use your words the power of your words and phrasing for instance you've referred to it as weight loss my right. clients are not permitted to use the word loss ah. it's weight management got it we mourn what we lose if you lose your keys mm. you're gonna make sure you have a second set right when I started out in early childhood yep. and when my uh, teachers were potty training little ones I would tell them to take them into the bathroom everybody clap and cheer yeah. And yeah. then remove them before you flush because children literally cry. Ah, when it's flushed. Yes. Yeah. Now, as adults, we no longer cry. Right. But when we think in terms of loss, yeah. then we're going to gain it back again. That's one of the most powerful thoughts, too. Uh, it reminds me of another book Tony wrote uh, called Unshakable. And, it, and he says, "There's th anytime we find ourselves dwelling on loss, less, or never. You know, in other words, because I did this, I had this action, I may lose this potential job or income or relationship. Anytime we focus on loss, less or never, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to pull out of this. That is a dark place to go. It really is. And why would you do that to yourself? Right. Exactly. I, I prefer to reframe. And by that, I mean, I take whatever the circumstance is and I try to re redo it, remake it in my mind. Right. You know. Okay, this opportunity didn't come to me, but that's because God has something even better for me. Right. There's a better one coming. That's right. So I Absolutely. don't want my time wasted. There's a better plan. There's a yes. there's a plan in place. It didn't work out for that reason. And uh, I, I can remember even in the beginning of my real estate career, it was a really tough time. And, uh, you know, I was like, ah, I don't know. It's just not a bad time, a bad time to be in real estate. And uh, I started looking at uh, medical career, medical jobs and interviewing and, you know, and I, I did an interview and I was like, oh, man, that didn't work out. I'm so upset. But then, of course, the real estate thing turned out pretty well for me, yes. you know, years later. But it's it's, you know, God has a plan. I think he knows where your where your resources are going to come into play your skill sets and and how to put that in play and you know that's a, that's a life lesson too is nothing's easy you know it's not as easy anything worth having is not easy you got to work for it absolutely 
Um, often people want me to have a magic wand when they come to my office. Oh, yeah? And, you know, okay, ding, you no longer smoke or right. you no longer have pain. Yeah. No, it's not quite like that. Now, I have a client with tardive dyskinesia, and mm -hmm. his body has betrayed him, and he's in a lot of pain. Mm. So with him, focus is extraordinarily important, and I'm yeah. constantly trying to get him to focus outside of his body, right? outside of his circumstances. Mm. And yeah. a good place when you're having negative thoughts to go is to your feet, mm. because your thoughts are in your head. Mm. The feet are the farthest body part from where you're thinking. So if you begin to wiggle those toes and think about how they feel in the shoes that you're wearing mm. and whatnot, suddenly your focus is, is shifted. And mas ma massage your feet too or sit down and stretch or something? Absolutely. Well, huh. it's That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Notice next time you're standing maybe brushing your teeth. If you yeah. Don't curl your toes like you're a bird on a branch. Mm. We carry tension in those toes. Right. So I make a point of flattening them out. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I love that. I love these different ideas. These are success ideas uh, with Debbie Lane here, wisdomhypnosis.com. And if you, you have any interest or if they have interest, Debbie, how, how does this work? Is this is this a session? They come down and sit with you or how does this, this work? Yes, they come, come to my office and we have a session. The first thing I do is get to know a little bit about them, their background, and quite honestly, people think they have not been through hypnosis, but unless you've never slept in your life, mm. you've been through the hypnotic brainwaves. Right. Because it's on that way to the delta, which is the sleep brainwave. So we talk about that. I explain a little bit about hypnosis. And then if it's smoke cessation, I give them practical hints and tips. Then we do the hypnosis. I also have other protocols that I use for stress release. If it's weight management, we may get into things from early childhood even. Right. that are issues. Right. We find out why they're covering their body, what they're trying to hide from. Right. So, and, but each person, it's individual, and I can do a couple people at a time. I've done groups. I'm not as fond of that because it's not as personal. Right. Right. Yeah, it seems like it would be something um, that would be better off one-on-one -on -one most of the time. Yes. Ex with the exception of couples who want to s quit smoking together. There you go. Because now they're supporting one another. Right. I like that. All right, some great ideas there. We're going to take a quick break. Um, when we come back, we're going to talk about our feel-good story, more with Debbie Lane, also Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. Uh, we're going to talk about this FFA event that we uh, went to over the weekend with Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy. Uh, this student showed up dressed as her teacher on Superhero Day. Feel-good story of the day coming out of Arkansas. Uh, find out about this young girl that made her teacher's day uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show. We're powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And we always like to feature our real estate listings live on air. It's part of our strategy to help our sellers sell faster for more money, increase that list price to sell price ratio uh, here in Tampa Bay. We got a hot listing at 10415 Main Street in Thonona Sasa. This is a, a property that you can build on, five acres, zone commercial. Uh, it's a corner lot location, great ROI potential uh, here on this lot that is for sale 10415 main street in thonona sassa florida hillsborough county one of our hot real estate listings from the platinum mvp team at kw.com and every day we like to tell you something positive here all right, so we got a feel-good story coming at you here. An eight-year-old girl in Arkansas dressed up as her second-grade teacher on Superhero Day. The elementary school encouraged students to come dressed as your favorite superhero on the last day of Spirit Week. Uh, teacher Jamie Day arrived to work that day to find her student, Caroline Carlson, dressed just like her. Uh, for her to think that she has to, she wants to look like me and I'm a superhero just because of what we do each day, it has really touched my heart, said Day. Uh, Carolyn's mom, Courtney, said all week her daughter was saying, I want to be like Miss Day. She is a superhero. So she texted Day and asked her what she was wearing for superhero day. Day uh, said she was blown away when she saw what Carolyn walked in the classroom wearing a denim jacket over a school shirt with jeans. Carolyn even asked her mother to curl her hair to match Daly's curly locks. 
And there you have it, our feel-good story of the day. Uh, we always like those feel-good stories. And we have Debbie Lane uh, in studio here, uh, wisdomhypnosis.com. And also we're going to bring in Alex Lima as well. Uh, to comment actually let's go ahead alex let's do a quick recap on this event over the weekend florida firearms academy uh what a great organization they they are and then and just having you know thomas is always doing a lot for the community uh giving away had you know did a drawing and raised money for uh charitable organizations and gave away a bunch of ammo and guns and self-defense classes uh what a great guy what a great company yeah man that was awesome uh there were so many people there and he always makes it fun too like it's a good purpose you know with everybody i mean we're always supporting our second amendment rights and our rights to defend ourselves and get training and protect our, protect our families that's something that we don't talk about enough actually yeah like in this country you know we have the right to bear arms and we, but also we have access to self-defense training right you you can't be over in like parts of korea and be learning how to defend your home against a tyrannical government exactly that's something that we don't touch base on enough i think no it is it's and and too many people take it for granted and even the younger generations especially you know you think about gen z and you know some of these different generations uh they just they weren't brought up on the same um you know just stories the stories that they hear are about our our country being bad or maybe it's a racist country whatever lies they want to tell them uh but actually our country was the one that did away with slavery (laughs) we're the ones that you know believe in all these different amendments to the constitution where we can speak and we can assemble and we can protect ourselves and and you know i I thank god for patriots like thomas king and uh you know folks over there that just you know they 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 do the work they put in the time and then they have these great community events and we've got a video hitting our youtube channel coming up on that too don't we yeah, there's going to be an awesome cut, actually, of us uh, touring the event, seeing everybody that was there, seeing, you know, the barbecue going off. And then also uh, we have a nice talk with uh, Thomas King himself, the owner of Florida Firearms, and uh, also with Jenny Shane, who teaches the uh, kids safety firearms class over there, which I'm actually uh, putting my daughter in uh, next month. So I can't wait to go do that. With oh, her. that's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait till till Brady Stetson's old enough to get into some of that. That'll be fun. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, Check out the YouTube channel, folks. We'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Brandon Rhymes Realty is the name of the YouTube channel. Uh, Lots of great videos, content, all of our uh, interviews. Of course, the interview with Debbie Lane here, wisdomhypnosis.com. And, and, uh, you know, early on the program, we had Jason Seibert from uh, Flanagan's Irish Pub. All of those different videos are there. And and think of it as a consumer advocate type program. So we've got attorneys, CPAs, uh, home inspectors, all types of great expert contributors uh, that really talk about these different current events and ways that you can save time and money and avoid a lot of the common scams out there too. our roofing contractors talk about these scams that come around uh you know again hurricane season's like 90 days away you know you start thinking about these different ideas and uh, be ready for it so that's something important to do think of it from a consumer advocate point of view alex yeah definitely it's a i think the channel is underutilized a little bit i mean we appreciate all the likes and views and everything that we get but it is it is like a uh it's it's a database. It's a wealth of knowledge from experts in all these yep. different fields. Not just myself, but you know, we got Mark Hay on there talking about finances. We have, you know, uh, WaterScience.us letting you know what's really in your water. Just all these all these experts that we bring in. It's underutilized. Like when you're when you're on a you know you can't sleep. You need some knowledge. You want something to kind of like get your brain kind of getting in the right place. That's right. Look up our channel. You know, you can you can actually just go to YouTube, type in Brandon Rhymes, and I guarantee you our videos will pop up. Yep, over 2,000 videos there now uh, as well. And uh, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts got some great content there as well, self-defense uh, from Alex Lima. I want to go back to Debbie now, Debbie Lane, uh, wisdomhypnosis.com. What are some parting words of wisdom? What are some other points that we maybe didn't quite get to yet, uh, some common uh, misnomers maybe that people have around? Okay. Um, with hypnosis, it's safe, it's non-invasive. And it's something that naturally occurs. Everyone has experienced hypnosis throughout their life. I can't make you do anything against your will. I can't right. start the church at Debbie Lane and have you tithing your income to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there you go. If I could, my sons would have picked up their bedrooms. There you go, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is people say that it's truth serum. I've had people call and say, I want to prove to my significant other that I'm faithful. Well, you can lie under hypnosis. So mm. anyone that tells you you can't is huh. lying. Wow. Because your subconscious mind wants to keep you safe. Wow, yeah. Okay. Yeah, our subconscious mind's looking for that saber-toothed tiger coming around the corner, right? So that's why, is that, isn't that why part of our human uh, psychology or, or just uh, our human, uh, you know, the, the modalities that we have? Like, we're, we're constantly looking for negativity, I think, right? We, we're, we're looking, hardwired seeking to. that. Yeah. We're hardwired to. So what you want to do is constantly play that tennis game and reframe. Yeah. Redirect your mind, redirect your thinking. Right. Um. 
think about what your self-talk is like. And if you wouldn't say it to someone you love, you shouldn't say it to or about yourself. Yeah. I like in the Bible, too, where Paul says, you know, call forth those things that be not as though they were. So even though you don't have it yet, you know, hey, I I, I am this or I will be that, right? You, your positive self-talk uh, and th- those types of things, especially with goals you know, and some of the simple things. And, and I try to teach this to you know, people I coach with and uh, talk to or even family members, you know, just some, something simple as saying I'm blessed and highly favored. You know, repeat that a, a couple times a day, you know, yes. or, or a couple 20 times a day, right? You know, those types of positive in, incantations will help program your subconscious mind. Remember Google when it first came out uh, as a search engine. You had to use all of the uh, punctuation and whatnot. Mm. But the idea was it was um, created about around the subconscious mind. Hmm. You put in a search term. Now it's more intuitive just as the human brain is. You put in a search term, it now goes out and looks for whatever it is that you've uh, put in. Right. So you want to put in questions that are powerful, like, right. why is today the best day of my life? Yeah. I always start my day with, what if I can really make a difference in my client's life today? Yeah. And I get to see a lot of miracles. I love that. I love that. And for the folks that are in sales, you know, we, we eat nose for breakfast, lunch, and dinner a lot of times when you're in sales and you're prospecting. But, you know, if you if you have, you know, these different incantations uh, where, you know, you're blessed and highly favored, and I'm so happy and grateful now that money flows to me in, in uh, numerous ways from multiple sources on a continuous basis, you know, there's there's different ways that you can kind of hypnose yourself, hypno, you know, to uh, those end. Uh, I got about 30 seconds back to you. Final thoughts and how do you want to connect with people? Well, I'm on uh, Facebook, as, just as Debbie Lane, also as Wisdom Hypnosis, wisdomhypnosis.com. And um, so they can contact me either way, that way. But what I would like to, as my parting thought, is everybody just be kind to yourself. Yeah, I love that. Be kind to yourself. And that leads us into how we end our show. We always talk about uh, going out there and creating a, uh, you know, do something kind for one another. Be that force for good, that random act of kindness. So, yes. you know, that random act of kindness, we always end the show with that. And it really resonates. It's, it's something that, you know, costs nothing for many times. It doesn't cost a dime. And uh, you can you can just change someone's life uh, by doing something really simple. And, uh, you know, thank you for coming in. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me. And, uh, hey, another great show. Jason Seibert, Flanagan's Irish Pub, Debbie Lane, Wisdom Hypnosis, Alex Lima, Black Belt Fitness and Martial Arts. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play.